in this example, we have to create a table. And this is an example where we are going to use a row span and call span, where in which one cell can extend to more than one rows or more than one columns. So first we are creating a table by using table tag. And we mentioned the border as one, that means the border will be visible. We have totally three different rows to be created for this particular table. So three times we have to use the TR tag. So totally there are three rows. So first we have used a TR tag and in the first row there are three columns. So we use three times TD tag in the first row and the data which is there in the first rows columns are A, B and C. Next we create the second row. In the second row we are having again three data is D, E and F. But the D is span to two rows. So we will use the three columns in the second row also. So three times we will use the TD with the value D, E and F. So three times we have used the TD tags to create three columns with the values D, E and F, whereas the D has to span to two rows. So we make TD with row span equal to two for the value D. So D will get spanned to two rows. Now in the next row, for creating next row, we again use a TR tag. Here we have only one data to be displayed. So we will use one TD tag. So in the third row, we have only one column and the value is G. So in the third row, we use TR tag. And now the G has to span to two columns. So since G has to span to two columns, we mention call span equal to two. So TD call span equal to two will make the column, the data to span into two columns and TD row span equal to two makes the data to span into two rows. So if you want to make it to three or any other number of rows and columns to span the element, we can change the number from two to three, four, etc., depending on the way you want the data to be displayed in the table. Now we have to apply some properties into the table. We may have to change the size of the table, the cell size so that the table will be visible properly as per the need of us. So we are going to apply various different style by using cascading style sheets. We have used the style tag for creating the cascading style sheets. We are using internal style sheets wherein which the style sheet comments are written in the same HTML file. We are changing the style of the table table tag so we made the table border collapse colon collapse value so that makes the cell border to be uh, removed it will the space between the cell border and the table border will get collapsed if you make the border collapse value as collapse for the table tag next we are changing the properties of the td table column changes uh, for the TD tag. So text align is made it as center, vertical align, we make the vertical align as middle so that from vertical directions, the content will come in the middle direction. So width of each cell is 200 pixel. The height of each pixel, we made it as 25 pixel. Font weight, we made it bolder. So it will come thicker, the content will come in the bolder font. Similarly, various different style can apply to the same table. We can change the background color 
of the table or we can change even a particular cell color kindly comment how we can change the background color of the cell g and how we can change the foreground color of cell a 